Monday. It's Monday. Did you start your diet? Yes? Are you going to start it again tomorrow? Well, the country's newest, hottest health and fitness guru says forget about it. As our E.D. Magnus reports, you can forget your diet, but you won't forget Susan Powder. Edie? Connie, Eleanor Roosevelt once said, you must do the thing you think you cannot do. No wonder she's one of Susan Powder's heroines. Think you can't lose weight, get control of your life, maybe even take over the world? Well, fasten your seatbelt and listen to what this woman is telling women all over America. Controla, Controla. Hi, I'm Susan Powder. Who? Hello, darling. Who's that? The crazy one with blonde hair. Where's my hair? I hate her hair. The <laughs> male basher? Oh, she's a male basher. Oh, duty. Come on, activate it. The lady that lost all that weight, she's awesome. I can't stand her. Damn it! Brigitte Nielsen on steroids. Who said that? I don't do big hair. I don't put on a lot of blush. I don't wear pretty feminine clothes all the time. These are fake nails because I bite my nails down to the quick. I, I don't, you know, I talk too much and I'm a little too loud. I've been like that since the day I'm born. <laughs> now, the woman born to talk has found her audience. So did I lose the weight? Of course I lost the weight. And if you haven't heard her yet, you probably will. She is that woman with the bleached buzz cut. The one who reinvented herself from a heavy housewife to a svelte star, who's using health and fitness to muscle her way into the American consciousness. I'm not a doctor, and I'm not a dietitian, and I'm not a nutritionist, and I don't ever want to be. I am a housewife that figured this out. Two t-shirts and one abdomen oil. Okay. What did Powder figure out? That American women are frustrated and hungry for answers on how to get fit. It's wonderful. And that there's money to be made from that frustration. And by the time he got down on his knee... Tony Robbins really is out. real. Look at that. That's why See how I'm the hair here. responds? Money in the sleepy 3 a.m. world of the infomercial. Stop the insanity! Where powders called Stop the Insanity air some 350 times a week. If you have been on a diet for more than five minutes, you deserve a discipline medal. She's selling a program of high-volume, low-fat eating combined with daily exercise. Powder's the first to admit there's nothing terribly original in it. But in the world of direct marketing, you don't need a new idea. Five, six, seven, eight, breathe! All you need is... Volume. <laughs> I mean, she grabs you by the lapels. Entertainment Weekly TV writer Alan Carter remembers the first time Susan Powder woke him up. I looked over to the television and there was this woman screaming and ranting and raving. Hey! It's fat that's making you fat! You know, it was like a joke. Eat grapefruit! Don't eat grapefruit! What is she talking about? Why is she screaming at me? But ten minutes into it, I found myself thinking, whatever she's got, uh, you know, give me some. What Powder's got is a compelling personal story of her own journey from fat to fitness. A real-life fairy tale every woman can relate to. Because behind all her troubles was a man. I fell head over heels in love with a Texan when it was over. Man, she I'm married so Nick Villarreal in 1982. I, mean, I, I fell in love with his kindness. I fell in love with his generosity. I fell in love with his simplicity. And his, but his, he his fell in love with and, and someone else, really leaving like Powder at 28 with two infants born just over a year apart and with a lot of rage. I watched Love Boat reruns and ate bags of M&Ms. I mean, that's what I did. I was just eating high-fat food, and I wasn't moving, and I was isolated, and I was afraid, and I was alone, and I was angry. I was, uh, Powder's I anger is part of her pitch. Why shouldn't I? You walk out, I got little babies. It's not a good thing. You shouldn't have done it. <laughs> and you will pay for the rest of your life. It's my, it's my duty. He had the job. He had the freedoms. He had the social acceptability, and that made me angry, and it hurt me. So I just sat and cried and got depressed and just blew up. And when All the way up, she claims, to 260 pounds. And wherever powder appears today, there's a blow-up picture of her former self. I tried every diet on earth. I sucked kelp. I drank cider vinegar. I, did you not? You've done it, too. I did stuff. I shook the sh shakes. I drank the drinks. I did it all. Hers is many women's experience. Yes, Diets, drinks, drugs didn't work. And behavior How modification? Don't ask. Don't ask. Every magazine says... Behavior modification, reinforcement, tell yourself you love yourself. What a load that is. I stood in the mirror, 260 pounds, and I said, I love myself. I really do. I deserve better. And I started saying, what do you mean you love yourself? You feel like I... No, 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 I love myself. You don't love yourself. You look... No, I do love myself. I was Sybil in five minutes. 
five minutes. I Powder was says she lost 133 pounds in little over a year by exercising five to six times a week and by educating herself about nutrition and fitness. Come on, Mary, you got it. It's lit. Other side, right there. Now she's on a self-appointed mission to teach other women what she learned and to get back at those she claims routinely humiliate the overweight. Everything you've been taught is a lie. The Go diet the industry. Go to Jenny. Have you ever met Jenny? I think she's stuffed. The I fitness mean, industry. The fashions exclude you totally. Unless you can wear a neon thong up your butt, you're out. And food companies. <laughs> Jimmy. You lied to me, Jimmy, didn't you? The truth, according to Powder, to is simple. You gotta eat, you gotta breathe, and you gotta move every single day. And or apparently, you, you gotta get some cosmetic yeah, surgery. You've had a tummy tuck? Absolutely. Oh, in a big way. <laughs> a year and a half after I changed my body. Oh, could you blame me? Look. No. I mean, isn't this a little bit of a sellout? Oh, I've also had an ear job. Don't leave the ear job out. Oh, sell out. Schmell out. After you're lean, after you're strong, after you're healthy, do whatever you want to do. That, I mean, my nails are fake. My hair is fake. I've had a tummy tuck. My ears done. What? Here, look. With me. You don't see this as a Born in Australia, Susan Powder moved to the United States when she was 10, finally settling in Texas. Struggling financially during those lonely years as a single mom, Powder held a series of part-time jobs. She taught aerobics, ran a daycare center. And then you became a topless dancer? Absolutely. 260 to topless dancer. Yes, I did. I mean, here you had been in a marriage that was very humiliating for you on lots of levels. Your husband had cheated on you and walked out. And, and then you went from that to another situation, which was arguably just as degrading, if not more. Oh, no, 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 because you're only looking at one side of it. It's not, the, uh, the, the value in what I did was that I walked out with money. I, I could pay my, I didn't have to call my father when I couldn't afford gas money. That's not degrading. That gave me freedom. It gave me a choice. Powder was eventually able to buy a bankrupt exercise studio which she operates out of today. Now teamed with manager Rusty Robertson. I taught her everything she knows. <laughs> She's nothing without me. She's dancing all the way to the bank, making exercise videos, hawking her products on QVC, appearing regularly on TV's home show. <laughs> There's Susan Powder, the autobiography, and of course, the infomercial. Sales of the powder package Welcome have already to topped $30 million. This is one of the shrewder campaigns I've ever seen. Now with infomercials, you, are, you, you can buy your own time, they're slickly produced, they look like television shows, and they're really not. This is something that's taken most, most people years to achieve, you know, that level of stature on television, and she's buying it. It's all got Powder feeling downright charitable. That ex-husband of hers, the man who cost her so much pain and so many pounds, he lives right downstairs from Powder and her new husband, an unusual co-parenting arrangement the two worked out for their children. I mean, so he's my inspiration? It's, there you have it. Without me, she wouldn't be doing what she's doing. If you hadn't been such a jerk... If I hadn't been such a jerk, right. Yeah. Well, he may have cheated on me, but I danced topless. So, so... So we didn't make mistakes. This was so hard for us. This was not just, oh, let's all live together. We've worked so hard. And when you look at our babies and you see, I mean, Damien and Kyle, this is good and it's right. This and is my family. It may look a little weird, but it's a hell of a lot healthier than my family was. It is a functional, healthy, loving family. And if Powder continues to use him as a public whipping boy... I ate, I cried, I nursed babies, and I planned his death. <laughs> Nick doesn't seem to mind. Powder's now supporting him. If that infomercial gets people moving in a positive direction, and I'm the scapegoat for that, or I'm the heel, or I'm that crappy dude that, you know, whatever, I'll take it. Her second husband, Lincoln, is a rock musician and also does her hair. Don't make it short. And he has to do it often. As God is my witness, when I did this, I thought, this is what I've been looking for all my life. It's the only time I ever use a blow dryer on my body. All this exposure has also brought something she wasn't looking for, attacks by those who knew her when. Former friends and associates, even her own brother, now accuse Powder of stretching the truth about just how fat she ever was. You can't tell me I wasn't fat. I was 260 pounds. I was a, 
I was a house. I mean, did you get on the scale one day? How did you, I mean, Edie? I got on the scale every 25 seconds. You want to tell me that's not 260? What would you call it? What? 254? Then call it 254. But I know what it was. It was 260. And I wasn't going to let it get to 261. Okay, I'll do it. Truth is, Powder already has believers in all the right places. Now she's signed with a powerful Hollywood producing team for a role in a primetime sitcom. The cynics will say, of course, well, she's off to be a star. This fitness thing was just a vehicle, and now she's, you know, a TV star. The, the, cynics, the cynics can say whatever they want to say. Watch me. Watch if I sell out. I don't sell out. I do what I do so that maybe I can contribute in some way to women getting physically strong so that we can take over the world. When I see that woman get it, and when she claps and says, amen, and her, her eyes connect with mine and, and she has tears in her eyes, I'm telling you, I walk away and I think, well, you know, maybe I'm a little loud, maybe I'm a little odd, maybe it doesn't work, but man, she got it. Connie, next year, Susan Powder is going to take on daytime television as, what else, host of her own talk show. No, oh, she's not going to need any guests. No, she, she won't. Thanks, Edie. Still ahead, one woman's extraordinary courage in a fight against all odds. And supermodel Cindy Crawford does something a lot of people do. Maybe even you. You'll see.